dear students i welcome you to another session of my course sociology of education the topic of today's discussion is educational uh, opportunity uh, today i am going to discuss uh, the social class differences and the inequalities uh, which influence the educational opportunities provided to the students at different level of educational system beginning from the primary education to the middle education to the higher uh, to the secondary higher secondary and uh, <coughs> university education as you know in pakistan the educational system is uh, <coughs> deeply you know hierarchical there are uh, three different four different systems of education uh, uh, operating and working in pakistan the first is the uh, gce o and a levels university of london uh, system of education then we have traditional public uh, sector schools and universities and colleges in pakistan then we have private sector schools and universities and colleges in pakistan and finally we have uh, the dini madaras or religious schools in pakistan run by their own uh, boards and uh, organizations so these are the four main you can say hierarchies of the educational systems now access to edu educational opportunity means access to education how far the social system of pakistan and the pakistani state provides access to an ordinary citizen of pakistan that is educational opportunity if you like to define it that is education that the access to the education and this access to education has not only been uh, emphasized by our religion it has also been enshrined in the 1973 constitution of the state of islamic republic of pakistan so it is a very it's a one of the fundamental right given by the founding and the writers of the constitution pakistani constitution to the uh, members of the state of pakistan and it has been uh, uh, enjoined upon the <coughs> state of pakistan to create conditions in which every member of the society every citizen has an equal access to education and has the opportunities and the chances for self development for professional development and for individual development so that is educational opportunity it is both a religious as well as a constitutional right of an ordinary pakistani now the education now we have to look to the next level that how far educational opportunity is provided to different in different educational hierarchies and what are the class differences as far as access to education is concerned now if you look at the o level and a level uh, system of uh, education in pakistan mostly this uh, uh, access, education type of education is assessed by only the top elite well the very rich people are the upper middle class whose income is more than monthly income is more than 10 lakh 20 lakh 50 lakh and people beyond that people who are very rich feel the rich they can put their uh, sons and daughters in top notch private schools in pakistan i don't want to name their uh, those schools uh, um, you know it very well you can uh, google it so they, they their student, their children go to those top notch private schools and after uh, uh, doing their o and a levels they go to the western universities in in uh, in western european in uk and or in united states of america so that is so it means clearly that there is a there is a differential access to educational opportunity in pakistan those who study in the top level top tier uh, uh, schools in pakistan they straight away go to western universities and they constitute most of the uh, educational system of pakistan and the top level leadership comes from those institutions the students who have graduated from those institutions they become leaders they become top businessmen and they become thought leaders in pakistan then we have the traditional uh, public education system in pakistan and that public education system is characterized by an access 
to most of the Pakistanis. It is relatively free and it is uh, provided to every citizen of Pakistan. And it has three levels, primary, middle, secondary and higher education. So most of the people, most of the students who go there, I mean the uh, admission to these institutions is open and accessible to everyone. There is no secretarian discrimination, there is no religious discrimination, there is no ethnic discrimination in these schools. Everybody can go and enroll into a public sector education institution and can get admission on the basis of merit and it also applies to higher education uh, institutions uh, of public sector such as public sector universities. The education of the students is totally funded and sponsored by the state of Pakistan, by the taxpayers and maybe in certain cases you will find partial tuition fees and partial expenditures borne by the student. Then you have these uh, madaras and in which again the whole process of education is sponsored and supported by the philanthropists and generous people of Pakistan and the students you know they get religious education on charities and donations from the rich people on zakat and sadiqah. The most vulnerable people who do not have access to educational opportunity in Pakistan are the immigrants for example Afghan immigrants who are the product of two lengthy wars in Afghanistan their children have don't have an access to even public sector institutions in Pakistan only those Afghanis who are wealthy and who have migrated to Afghanistan from Afghanistan to Pakistan their children are now studying in some top medical engineering and other general uh, universities and schools and those Afghanis who are then again sponsored by the scholarships of state of Pakistan they are also studying in Pakistan. Then we have the these uh, internal migrants people coming from the rural areas of Pakistan who you know have to leave their uh, homes in search of jobs they come to big cities like Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad and they live in tents and slums in miserable conditions. I mean, we cannot imagine in what, in what conditions. Their children are totally deprived. Their children are totally deprived from an access to education, equal educational opportunity. And this is the area which needs to be taken care not only by the state and society of Pakistan but the general public. And we should, I think, we should launch a movement through educational movement, educational reform movement. Although there are certain uh, leading trusts and foundations who are educating the uh, uh, underprivileged and uh, resourceless people, still there is a room for improvement. And we need many schools, many institutions in which, you know, children from the slums, from the tentage, tentage uh, uh, settlements, and from the Kachi Abadis could go and study without, you know, uh, 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 without the fear of who will pay for their education. That will have a positive impact on the overall national and economic and social development of the Pakistani state and the Pakistani society. So it is obvious that the access to education has a close link with the economic sustainability, with the economic viability with the financial resources of the student that from to which class social class he or she belongs and it is on the basis of that social class their access to education their access to educational opportunities is defined and shaped but i would say that uh, not only the public sector institutions schools and colleges and universities but also the private sector schools universities and colleges should outreach to less privileged and disadvantage segments of the society and integrate them into the process of educational opportunities and growth so that the overall uh, socio-economic indicators, technological innovation, inventions could be enhanced and a progress, overall progress and growth in the gross national and gross domestic product can be achieved by the uh, state of Pakistan. So I uh, think uh, as a social scientist, as a sociologist, you must look uh, into the economics of educational opportunity. You must inquire and must, must try to understand the causes and the reasons uh, behind the differential 
access to educational opportunity in Pakistan. It, they may be due to, in certain cases, they may be due to uh, the lack of resources at the local level, at the provincial level, at the federal level. So all these levels, you know, and access to uh, better facilities and amenities can be enhanced by providing a shared environment in which people could, you know, develop their educational skills and in which the disadvantaged and the resourceless uh, slum uh, uh, dwellers, children of immigrants and other uh, left uh, uh, out, you know, segments of the society could participate and develop. So thank you very much. This is for today. And if you have any question, you are welcome.